Hello, Telvani here, and this is going to be a fairly short video, but I wanted to talk with you about a buff that has flown mostly under the radar in the current hype. As many of you know, within the last 12 hours, GGG released their buff to Headhunter. This buff makes Headhunter much more viable in the current meta, as the change allows you to retain monster modifiers for 60 seconds instead of 20. This is the only change they made to Headhunter specifically. You still aren't able to stack two copies of Frostweaver to get double the effect, and you still are able to refresh the duration of existing buffs on your character. I made a whole video showing that this was the case prior to the buff, however, the mechanics of Headhunter have not changed since then, only the duration. This means that when you get the Soul Eater buff, you are going to feel a lot stronger for a lot longer. However, it also means that when you get the Echoist or Teleportation effect, this negative buff will last seemingly forever as well. The next change GGG has made is not one specific to Headhunter, and is much more exciting. They have increased the variety of rare monster modifiers that will appear in a given map. This means that instead of having, say, three monsters with Stormweaver, you are now more likely to see one with Stormweaver, one with Juggernaut, and one with Vampiric. This change is absolutely huge, bringing a lot of power back to the belt. But this change doesn't just buff Headhunter. It also buffs the hell out of Inspired Learning, which was already very, very strong this patch. As both Headhunter and Inspired Learning will now be granting you, on average, a higher number of buffs while mapping. I just ran a few Delirium maps with Mageblood and Inspired Learning, and can tell you that it feels much more powerful than it did yesterday. As you are stealing a larger variety of buffs, and by extension, a higher number of damage increasing modifiers. So while GGG intended to bring back more power to Headhunter, they have also made Inspired Learnings even stronger as well. And, by extension, belts like Mageblood, Perseverance, and Stygian Vise. I hope you found this information as useful and as interesting as I did, and let me know down in the comments below what belt you are planning on using. Anyway, thank you for watching, good luck with your league, and I'll see you in the next one.